tonight we're going to be talking about parts of a whole, something that we talked about this morning when we were talking about uh, minutes and hours and what fraction of an hour. Um, some words that you're going to need to remember. Numerator, remember that's the top number in a fraction. Denominator, that's the bottom number in a fraction. And then this little formula that we worked on for parts of a whole, you take the whole number and then you divide it by the denominator and then whatever that is, you're going to multiply it by the numerator. All right, so here's your study link. So with your study link today, it says if you have 15 counters, if that's the whole set, how much is 3 fifths? So using that same formula, if you write 15 as a whole number, what's 3 fifths of it? Let me write this, oops, my smart board's off here. 3 fifths of 15. If you remember that formula, you're going to divide 15 divided by 5, your denominator, which equals 3. And then you're going to multiply it by your numerator times 3. 3 times 3 is going to equal 9. So erase this and write 9 in there. And then next we've got 7 ninths of 18. Follow that same uh, formula, 9, 18 divided by 9 equals 2. And then multiply it by your numerator, 7. 2 times 7 will equal 14. So we want 14 counters on that one. Next one we've got 16 twentieths. Uh, if 20 counters is our whole, whoops, I didn't mean to cover it up. If 20 counters are our whole, what fraction of the set is 16? So 16 out of 20 on that one. Our next one, if 50 counters are the whole, and you have 45, do you have 45 out of a possible 50? If 35 counters are half, what would be the whole? So we need to do 35 times 2. Uh, if you know that one, uh, you'll find out it's 70. If not, you can always use a little side multiplication here. And you'll find out it is 70. If 12 counters are 3 fourths of the set, what's the whole? For this one, I like to draw a little picture. And I would put them in uh, groups with the three-fourths. So I would make some X's here. I need 12 of them. It says I have 12. Okay, I've got my 12 X's. I've got them in three rows, and this is three-fourths. So if I needed another row of them to make it a whole, then I could count them all up and I would find out that I have 16. Gerald and Michelle went on a 24-mile 24, 24 bike ride. By lunchtime, they had ridden 5 sixths of it. Um, so we need to figure out 5 sixths of 24. This first part should be kind of a review because we've talked about it. So 24 divided by 6. Did I say 5 sixths? Or is it 5 eighths? Oops, I wrote that down wrong. Something didn't sound right there. Although 24 and 6 go well together, we need to make sure we've got it right. 5 eighths of 24. 24 divided by 8 will equal 3 times 5 will equal 15. But now we have to look back at what we were talking about. So by lunchtime, they had ridden 15. Uh, but the total was 24. So if the total was 24, subtract the 15 that they've already written, and you'll find out that they have 9 left to go. And I believe that was the question was, how many miles do they have left? So they have 9 left to go. Jen and Heather went 
to lunch when the bill came, Jen discovered that she only had $8. Luckily, Heather had enough money to pay for the other part, or three-fifths of the bill. So we have to figure out, first off, how much Jen or Heather did pay, and then how much was the total bill. So if Jen paid, or if Heather paid two-fifths, then Jen must have, put, I said it wrong, if Heather paid three-fifths, and that means Jen must have paid two-fifths. So if two-fifths is eight, whoops, is eight, then one-fifth must be four. Hmm, so if one-fifth equals four dollars, and two-fifths was eight dollars, the whole five-fifths, we could just keep going, keep adding up, We'll get our whole eventually. So we're counting up by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty. So our questions were, how much did Heather pay? Well, she paid three-fifths. So she paid twelve. Don't forget your dollar sign there. And then how much was the total bill? Five-fifths would be the whole thing. So the whole thing was twenty dollars. Do a little erasing here. The whole bill was twenty dollars, and then it says explain how we figured it out. First, we figured out what one fifth was. And after we did that, then we could find out. Then figure out one-fifth, and then writing, so if I'm going too fast, all you have to do is pause the video and come back to it. And now we've got just our plain old division practice. If you'll notice, there's a similarity with our dividends and our divisor today. So our first one, 42 divided by 3, 3 goes into 4 one time, subtract, oh, my smart board's off again, one, bring down the 2, 3 goes into 2 four times. So I've got a uh, quotient of four. All right, next one's going to look so familiar because it's pretty much the same factor, but they just added a zero in there. Uh, 42, 420, three goes into four one time. Subtract one, bring down your two. And again, we want four because three times four is 12. Subtract and you get zero, but you still have that zero left can bring it down if you want to, or you can just put a zero up there and find out it's 140. And then our next one, now we've got two zeros. In my mind, I, I would just divide by 10 to start out with and take off a zero and do 42 divided by 3, which I already did, and I'd get 14. But if I want to do it the long way to prove that it truly is 14, I can solve it. 30 goes into 42 one time. And I subtract. I guess what? Bring down the zero. 30 goes into 124 times. And I would get a remainder of zero. And I would have 14 right here. Next one, same thing. If it were me, I would take off this zero right here and a zero there. And I would do 420 divided by 3, and I will get an answer of 140. But if I want to solve it the long way, just to prove that it actually works, 30 goes into 42 one time, subtract, you get 12, bring down your 0, 30 will go into 120 four times, it will equal 120, subtract and you get a 0, bring down your last 0, and then there's nothing left, so all you have to do is put a 0 as a placeholder up there, and you get 140 which looks just like the answer I predicted you'd get of 140. So I was so short cut methods with the 10. All right, thanks for watching.